specifically for these kind of situations. Um, my dear friend Mick O'Connor, the, the London banjo player, and I'll, I'll have to use the, the London accent, so if you're English, please excuse my accent, but um, he was playing in a, a hotel in uh, London and he, he described to me the, the public and uh, he said, oh, he, he was such a, a lovely, a lovely man, a, a, an absolute gentleman, couldn't, couldn't do enough for you, you know, a wonderful man. And one day uh, we, we turned up for the concert and there, there was a, a, an accordion, button accordion player and a singer and, and myself on the banjo, you see. And, and he came over and he said, lads, is there anything, is there anything I can get you? And, and Mick looked around and said, well, look, um, uh, could could we please have three chairs for the musicians? And yeah, yes, hip hip. <laughs> Andrews, just there we go. Uh, so. Uh, Somebody asked me to come up this morning and play um, some music, and I thought, well, it'd be nice. Um, I won some competition yesterday, and um, it's funny because Andrew, Andrew and me went to Tamworth, or, or met, actually met at Tamworth in 1987, and um, we both entered the. Uh, the National Guitar Championships and we we both entered the Fiddle Championships um, I, I must say by any objective um, assessment Andrew was about 25 or 30 years in front of me on the, the Fiddle and there was ten, 10 people in the Fiddle competition and and I was, I think I was the ninth, uh, the ninth best but uh, Andrew was right up there at the very top and um, the, the competition was, was really intense and I think what happened that day, Andrew and, and a few of the other guys who were so much better than me in the fiddle were all chose really difficult pieces and um, played them and perhaps didn't play them quite perfect and me being a mug I just thought oh look I'll, I'll play two very easy tunes and uh, I don't know how it happened that I, I played the, the two easy tunes, I played them pretty well and somehow I got third and it's <laughs> Andrew got, got uh, fourth or fifth or something and, and that's what I mean I could have spent 20 years learning and fiddle off Andrew and we both went in the, the guitar competition and unfortunately Andrew beat me, he finished first and I finished second and um, uh, we've, been, we've been great pals ever since and I, I guess Andrew and me had had pretty different ideas on on our music and how we, we approach it and how we play it, but uh, we're going to we're going to try and play together today. This is a, a tune that I arranged. Uh, well, I, I guess in some ways I've done a very Andrew Claremont thing. I've taken a Texas fiddle tune and arranged it for an instrument that's more associated with traditional Irish music. But it's it's uh, one of the great pieces of music of all time. It's a, it's a Texas fiddle tune. Uh, called the Grey Eagle. So, and we haven't rehearsed for this, uh, which will probably become obvious by the third bar. But anyway, here we go. Uh, Grey Eagle. Thank you very much. Thank you. 